How much can you really save by driving an electric vehicle compared to a diesel car? That's the question we will answer today on EVTV Ireland. Some of our calculations may surprise you. Hello and welcome to EVTV Ireland, the show that tells you absolutely everything you need to know about electric vehicles in Ireland. My name is Guillaume. Today, we're going to take a look at how much you can save by driving a BEV, a battery electric vehicle, compared to a diesel car. We will also look at how much it costs to drive from Dublin to Cork and back again. In our first segment, we will ignore the lower toll rates for BEVs and plug-in hybrids, as well as the lower motor tax for BEVs, currently 120 euro, and instead focus on just the fuel costs. We will use a diesel price of 133.4 cent per liter, which is the average price of diesel in February 2020, according to the AA. For electricity costs, we will use the bulk cash nitrate of 9.28 cent per kilowatt hour and the standard rate of 17.44 cent per kilowatt hour. Note that these figures include that. For the most expensive rate for home charging, we will use Energia's standard rate of 22.68 cent per kilowatt hour, which is also including VAT. For public charging, we will use the current rate of 33 cent per kilowatt hour without a subscription for fast charge points. Note that the price with the subscription is 29 cent per kilowatt hour plus 5 euro per month. Also, Note that slow charge points are still free to use in Ireland and Northern Ireland, but we won't include them in our calculations in this video. The data that we're using in this video are real figures achieved by real drivers in real cars, not WLTP figures. So before we start, we would like to say a big thank you to everyone who submitted data to us. We really appreciate your help in making this video. So first, let's take a look at diesel cars as a benchmark. One of our viewers used to commute from Tipperary to Cork daily in a diesel Opel Insignia and recorded a consumption figure of 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. This is equivalent to 45.56 miles per gallon for UK viewers or 37.94 miles per gallon for any US viewers. To save you typing the website address, we have included it in the video description if you want to make your own calculations. To calculate the cost per 100 km, we multiply 6.2, the consumption in liters per 100 km, by the price of diesel, 133.4 cent per liter. This equals 827.08 cent or 8.27 euro per 100 km, or 0 0.082708 euro per kilometer to be precise. Based on data from Chill Insurance, which you can find in the link below and also in the video description, the average annual mileage for diesel vehicles in Ireland is 24,000 kilometers. The cost of driving 24,000 kilometers is 1,985 euro per year in this case, based on 24,000 kilometers multiplied by the cost per kilometer figure of 0 0.08 to 708 euro, which can be simplified as 240 multiplied by 8.27 euro. Now, let's look at how much it costs to drive various BEVs in a number of scenarios. Consumptions for electric vehicles is usually measured in kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. One of our viewers measured the consumption of a Hyundai Kona in eco mode as 11 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. In a worst case scenario, using only public fast charge points, at a current rate of 33 cents per kilowatt hour without a subscription, we can calculate the cost per 100 kilometers as follows. 0 0.33 euro multiplied by 11 kilowatt hours equals 3.63 euro per 100 kilometers. So in absolute worst case, the running costs of a Hyundai Kona in eco mode are less than half of the running costs of the diesel insignia. We can calculate how many liters per 100 kilometers this represents at the current costs using the following formula. First, we divide 3.63 by the price of diesel, 133.4 cents per liter, and then we multiply this value by 100 since the diesel price is in cent instead of euro. Based on this data, this Kona in eco mode has the equivalent consumption of a diesel car averaging 2.72 liters per 100 kilometers or 103.85 miles per UK gallon. 
The cost of driving the Hyundai Kona in Eco mode over 24,000 kilometers is 240 multiplied by 3.63, which is 871 euro, which represents a saving of 1,114 euro per year compared to the Insignia at 1,985 euro per year. In the very base case, charging only at home at the bulk cash night rate, we can calculate the cost per 100 kilometers as follows. 9.28 cent multiplied by 11 equals 102.08 cent or 1 euro 02. In this case, the fuel cost of the Insignia is more than 8 times that of the Kona, and the annual electricity consumption only adds 245 euro to your bill, saving of 1,740 euro per year compared to the Insignia. And thanks to the Kona's great range, this may actually be possible for many owners. In normal driving mode, the consumption of the Hyundai Kona was recorded as 12.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. In our worst case scenario, using only fast public charge points, this equals 4.26 euro per 100 kilometers, which is slightly more than half the cost of the Insignia. Consumption for the Hyundai Ionic and Renault Zoe was reported to be similar to the Kona in normal mode. Nissan Leaf owners reported between 15 and 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. These figures apply to both old and new models. If we take the higher figure, which also corresponds to reported figures for the BMW i3 and motorway driving in a Renault Zoe, and use our worst case scenario, this equals to 5.94 euro per 100 kilometers, about 72% of the cost of the Insignia. This represents a saving of 559.40 over 24,000 kilometers compared to the Insignia. If we take a more balanced view, say 50% charging on the Borgash nitrate and 50% on the ESB pay-as-you-go, we can calculate this as follows. First, we take the 5.94 euro per 100 kilometers, which we just calculated, and divide it by 2, which equals 2.97 euro. This is a charging we will do on the ESB pay-as-you-go rate. The reason we divide by 2 is we're using the ESB fast charge point for 50% of our mileage. Next, we need to calculate the cost of charging on the bulk cash nitrate for 50% of our mileage. That's 9.28 cents per multiply by 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers divided by 2. That's 0 0.84 euro. Finally, we add 2.97 and 0 0.84, which is 3.81 euro per 100 kilometers, which is still less than half of the cost of the Insignia. We can calculate the cost per 24,000 kilometers as follows. 3.81 euro multiplied by 240 equals 914.40. So that's 914.40 per 24,000 kilometers, a saving of 1,070.60 compared to the Insignia. What about larger cars, like a Tesla Model S? One of our viewers recorded an average of 21 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers over 105,000 kilometers in a Tesla Model S 75. We also know another Model S 75 that has achieved an average of 19 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers after 20,000 kilometers. Let's take a closer look at what it costs to drive a Model S at 21 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. In a worst case scenario, using only public fast charge points at 33 cents per kilowatt hour, the cost per 100 kilometer is 0 0.33 euro multiplied by 21 kilowatt hours, which equals to 6.93 euros per 100 kilometers. So, even in the worst case, if this Model S owner doesn't have a home charger, this is still cheaper than the Insignia. This is the equivalent consumption of a diesel car averaging 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers or 55.39 miles per gallon. The cost of driving 24,000 kilometers is 1,663 euros compared to the Insignia at 1,985 euros per year, so a saving of 322 euros per year. With the home charger and ball gas nitrate, the calculation is as follows. 9.28 cent multiplied by 21 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers equals 194.88 cent or 1.95 euro. This results in 468 euro for 24,000 kilometers, a savings of 1,517 euro per year compared to the Insignia. The car with the highest reported consumption was the Tesla Model X P100DL at 33.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers over 16,000 kilometers. 
This is just over three times the consumption of the Hyundai Kona in Eco mode. In a worst case scenario, using only public fast charge points at 33 cents per kilowatt hours, the cost per 100 kilometers is 0 0.33 euro multiplied by 33.4, which is 11 euro per 100 kilometers. This is the equivalent to 8.2 liters per 100 kilometers for a diesel car or 34.45 miles per UK gallon. If we assume that 75% of charging will be done at home and 25% will be done on the ESB pay-as-you-go rate, we can calculate this as follows. First, we take the 11 euro per 100 kilometers, which we just calculated, and multiply it by 0 0.25 because we're using the public fast charge points for 25% of our driving. This equals to 2.75 euro. Next, we will use the Energia standard rate of 22.69 cents per kilowatt hours to calculate the remaining 75%. We begin by multiplying 22.69 cents by 33.4 kilowatt hours, which equals 757.846. This is cents, so we need to divide by 100 to get euro. Let's run it up to 7.58 euro. We then multiply 7.58 euro by 0 0.75 as we're charging at home for 75% of our mileage. This equals 5.68 euro. To get the total we add 2.75 euro and 5.68 euro which equals to 8.43 euro. This is a couple of percent more than the Opel Insignia. That's not bad for a car weighing around two and a half tons. If we were to charge on the bold gas nitrate instead the calculation would look like this. The cost of using the public fast charge points for 25% of our mileage stays the same, 2.75 euro. So the only thing we need to do is use the bold cash nitrate of 9.28 cent per kilowatt hours to calculate the remaining 75%. To do this, we multiply 9.28 cent per 33.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which equals 309.952. Again, we divide by 100 to get the euro, which equals 3 euro and 10 cents. We then multiply 3 euro 10 by 0 0.75 and we're charging at home for 75% of our mileage. This equals 2.33 euros. To get the total, we add 2.75 euro and 2.33 euro, which equals 5.08 euro. The cost of driving the Tesla Model X P100DL over 24,000 kilometers is 240 multiplied by 5.08, which is 1,219 euro, which represents savings of 766 euro per year. In most real world situations, you would start from home with a full or nearly full battery if you know you're going on a long journey, say from Dublin to Cork, which is 260 kilometers, one way and 520 kilometers return. Let's see if we can calculate the costs of one such return journey. Let's assume that the Opel Insignia will have the same consumption we used earlier, 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. The cost of driving the Insignia from Dublin to Cork and back again can be calculated using this formula. 6.2 multiplied by 5.2 multiplied by 133.4 cent equals 4,300.816 cent. Then we divide by 100 to get our cost in euro, which we round to 43 euro. In this case, you're wondering where 5.2 comes from. 5.2 is 520 kilometers divided by 100 kilometers because our consumption is measured in liters per 100 kilometers. There are two toll stations between Cork and Dublin. They are located south of Portlaoise and south of Fermoy. At each of them, the toll is 1 euro and 90, which means drivers of ICE vehicle have to pay 7 euro and 60 cent for a return journey. The Signia would therefore have to pay 43 euro plus 760 in total, which is 50 euro and 60 cent. A Renault Zoe will do about 17.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers when driving on the motorway. The older Zoe have 23.3 kilowatt hours available battery capacity, and we will assume that the battery has been fully charged at home before departure. Let's first calculate how many kilowatt hours we need to travel 520 kilometers at 17.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. We can do this using the following formula. 5.2 multiplied by 17.6 kilowatt hours equals 91.52 kilowatt hours. We're starting with a full battery that's been charged at home, so let's find out how much it costs. Let's use the bold gauge nitrate. The nitrate is 9.28 cent, which we multiply by the usable battery capacity of 23.3 kilowatt hours, which equals to 216.224 cent, 
or about 2.16 euro. Next, we need to calculate how many kilowatt hours we need from the public fast charge points. This is a 91.52 kilowatt hours minus of full battery, so the calculation is 91.52 minus 23.3, which equals 68.22 kilowatt hours. The ESB rate is 33 cents per kilowatt hour, so we simply multiply 68.22 by 0.33 to get the cost in euro, which is 22.51. So we paid 2 euro 16 for home charging and 22.51 for public charging. 216 plus 22.51 equals 24.67 euro. BVs get a 50% discount on this toll, so they pay 3 euro 60 for a return journey between Cork and Dublin. Total cost of the Zoe is 28 euro 27. Insignia could do the journey for 50 euro and 60 cent. 50 euro 60 cent minus 20.27 equals 22.33 euro, so the Zoe driver saves 22.33 euro compared to the Insignia driver. Let's try again with the Jaguar I Pace. The I Pace has a 90 kilowatt hours battery, but only 84.7 kilowatt hours is usable. According to Nextmove, Germany's leading electric car rental company, the I-Pace had a consumption of 31.3 kWh per 100 km when driven at an average speed of 120 km on the Autobahn for 87 km. First, we need to calculate how many kWh we need to travel 520 km at 31.3 kWh per 100 km. We can do this using the following formula. 5.2 multiplied by 31.3 kWh equals 162.76 kWh. We're starting with a full battery that's been charged at home, so let's calculate how much this costs. Let's use the bulk cash nitrate. The nitrate is 9.28 cents, which we multiply by the usable battery capacity of 84.7 kilowatt hours, which equals 786.02 cents, or about 7.86 euros. Next, we need to calculate how many kilowatt hours we need from the public fast charge points. This is 162.76 kilowatt hours minus our full battery. So the calculation is 162.76 minus 84.7, which equals 78.06. DSB rate is 33 cents per kilowatt hours. So we simply multiply 78.06 by 0.33 to get the cost in euro, which is 25.76. So we paid 7.86 for the home charging and 25.76 for public charging. 7.86 plus 25.76 equals to 33.62 euros. Then we need to add 3 euro and 60 cents in tolls, so the total is 37 euro and 22 cents. The insignia could do the journey for 50 euro and 60 cents. 50 euro and 60 cents minus 37.22 equals 13 euro and 38 cents. So the high pace driver saves 13 euro and 38 cents compared to the insignia driver. Let's say the iPace owner is on energy as standard rate at 22.68 cents per kilowatt hour. To find the cost, we multiply 22.68 by the usable battery capacity of 84.7 kilowatt hours, which equals about 19.21 euros. Again, we need 78.06 kilowatt hours from the public fast charge points, which cost 25.76 euros. We paid 19.21 euro for home charging and 25.76 for public charging. 19.21 plus 25.76 equals 44.97 euros. BEVs get a 50% discount on this toll, so they pay 3.60 euro for a return journey between Cork and Dublin. The total cost for the Jaguar i is therefore 48.57 in this case. The Insignia could do the journey for 50 euro and 60 cents. So in this case, it costs about the same as the Insignia to travel from Cork to Dublin and back again using energy as standard rate. Of course, this is just one journey. Any local traveler or commuting to work will be covered by home charging and will be much cheaper than the Insignia. Is your head spinning after all those numbers? We do hope you find this video interesting. Give it a like and share it with everyone you know. And if you have consumption data for your own EV or ICE vehicle that you'd like to share, please leave a comment or send an email to production at evtv.ie. We may use your data in a future video. Thanks for watching.